This building isn't just a building. It's a building that feeds people. I've often run into people that'll say, oh, you're with the food bank. I love that building. They may not know what the food bank does yet, but they know the building and they know the size of the building, which is another comment. They'll say, that's a big building. And I'm able to say, it's a big problem. In Massachusetts, one in 11 residents seek food from a food pantry, soup kitchen, or shelter. And the Greater Boston Food Bank provides food to charities like pantry, soup kitchens, and shelters where these individuals who are needing food will come and seek assistance. The trend line of need is enormous. We have a huge problem. If you try and quantify it, we're talking about feeding as many as 550,000 people a year. Those of us who take a look at the numbers more often think it's closer to a million. We were limited in our previous facility that we could only sort of handle so much. By having twice the square footage and four times the cube of our previous location, we're able to say yes. It gives us storage capacity. It gives us long-term buying potential at better costs for agencies. It gives us the, the increased perishable storage, which is huge, of refrigeration and freezing capacity. That just permits us to have much more elasticity in the offerings of food, and at the end, it results in feeding more people. All right, let's do this. All right, now, you guys gonna be sorting product from Stop and Shop, um, CVS, Walmart, maybe Target, all right? Uh, my name is Kelly Sanji. Right now, I supervise our volunteers. Okay. We need your help to throw away the bad products and categorize the good product. I love the job here. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm here for 15 years, almost 15 years. It was different volunteers, you know. It's, it's a good thing that we're doing here anyway. You see those volunteers coming in, doing that for free, you know. It's like killing two birds with one stone, you know. I'm helping people and getting paid in the meantime. I love that. We know there's a lot of uh, hungry people out there, and I know I touch a lot of lives, people that I don't, I don't even know, you know. And I like that. I like doing that. as a design team, came up with a number of features that uh, would highlight um, issues of sustainability. The volunteer area, where 16,000 volunteers from the community over the year come in and sort uh, donated food to be warehouse, is actually heated by a convection wall. I just got to get for the ABC South Bend. Just got to get potatoes and, and um, onions. Okay. And then I pick them up and Use my gun, scan them in, and bring them to them in the morning. Counting and recounting and understanding where something is uh, in a warehouse uh, is what people who manage these places stay up at night worrying about. The computerized warehousing system allows you to, uh, to keep track of this. Number, enter, hit the pallet, take two of these, put them on the pallet. I, what I like the best about it, I like helping the, the people out. I'm a people person. I know there's too many people out there hungry. This is a perfect job for me. Perfect. Another feature that uh, we were particularly proud of, standing on that site as we built the building in the cold winter months, they look, well, if one third of this footprint is a refrigerator freezer, this seems crazy that we're gonna pay for energy to run compressors and condensers to cool this space when all we would have to do is open the window. So there are moments when the sensors in the building understand that the air temperature is 10 degrees below what it should be in the, in the freezer, shuts off the compressors, draws in filtered outside air. Close to half the energy cost for, and the wear and tear on those compressors uh, and condensers is saved by the ambient air system uh, in the freezer cooler. This is not an over-the-top building, but it, it is still an architecturally uh, and visually pleasant building to be in 
and to work in. I love bringing people in this building. It's like walking into a church. It's huge and it's got these wonderful ceilings and it's got all this light and people are astounded. What I have found is people will say to me, I love that building. What, and what are those little things on the walls? What is that? What are those little things? And so that you, you, you gain the curiosity of folks in the design of the building. But it's not, it wasn't like, why did you put that up there? It was, what is that? I'm very curious. And that is a, that intrigue pulls person into the design of the building. It's a sparkling array of shiny white and red uh, triangles that uh, don't apparently have any order to them, but uh, there are moments when that logo appears. It has served as a billboard unto itself for the food bank. You feel like you're going to run right into it as you're driving south on 93. And the fact that it curves is we just kind of couldn't have asked for a better opportunity because you see the building straight on, you see the tabs, you see the wheat, you see the name, it's all there. Most importantly to me, this building is a symbol for our community and for our state that there it will be an adequate supply of food for people in need for years to come.